Hi there, in this AnyType beginner tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get started organizing with types. And today I am recording on a Mac desktop version 46.4. So I'm first going to go up here where there is a down arrow and I'm going to select here and we can see that we have create type right here. So for this example, I'm actually going to create two different types. So the first one I'm going to create is author and you need to be typing up here. This over here actually doesn't let you edit. So go over to the right side of your screen and we're going to call this one author. And typically it's singular here, and that's why down here it says plural name. This plural name is actually going to be used on the list. And so at the top of the list, it will say authors, and then below it, you'll have each object that is an author. You also have options here for your page layout. I'm gonna leave these as is right now. And then we have some various properties down here. So let's click apply. And so now you see when I meant authors, this is the list view. Each row will be an author object. Okay, so now that we have this, we want to create our first object. So I'm actually gonna put first name and last name together. Okay, so that is our first author. And one thing I wanna note, we now have a widget here. Then you'll see a list of all the new objects that you make under authors pop up here. I'm going to make another type. So let's go back up to here and I'm gonna create another type. Okay, so this time I wanna make book and let's call this books. Okay, so here the header are these things right here that show up underneath the title of the book. Properties panel is properties that are only gonna show up in the right side panel that pops out. I'll show that to you in a minute. And then hidden is really just for ones that you don't use as often. It allows you to collapse that area where you have hidden properties, okay? So let me click apply and we'll show you what that is. So we don't have any objects here yet. So we have to create a new object. Let's click on it. It's going to be a blank page. And here in the top right corner, the one that looks like a bulleted list icon. We're going to click on that and this is your properties panel. So remember earlier we had some properties here at the top. We've got the object type, the tag, and the backlinks. Those are in the header. And then we've got these three that are just part of the panel. And then we had a few that were in this hidden area just so, so that you can collapse it. Okay. So you can go to edit type and it goes back to that same screen that we saw when we were in the types screen. Um, and so you can add more properties here if you want to. I feel like this is a lot simpler to add them in that view over here in this types screen view. One thing I'm going to do right here is I'm going to hover in between until I see the arrows and then I'm going to click and hold it down while I'm dragging and that will change the width of your columns. And so now I want to put some more properties for this book object. I'm going to select this plus icon and this will bring up all the properties that I can choose from to view on here. But what I wanna do is create a new property. So let's go to add property and we're going to select select ironically <laughs> so the difference between select and multi-select is this one allows you to only choose one of the choices that are presented and this one allows you to select multiple of whatever your choice is so i'm going to select select <laughs> and let's call this one book topic and select save and then under this, we're going to write fiction. And then you can also add a second one. So let's do none fiction and see, you can now see there's two options, but you can only have one in this box. 
Okay, and then let's do another property and let's call this one genre. And we're going to select multi-select because you could have multiple genres. Let's select save. Okay, and this one just to have something in here, let's do fantasy, let's do business. Okay, so I'm actually going to just keep it fantasy and it's probably going to be fiction if it's a fantasy book. Okay, so now we have both of those and then let's go up to edit type so that we can see what our properties look like. So now we can see that the two properties I added, book topic and genre, are now part of the properties panel. And that means that anytime I make a new book object, I'm going to be able to choose those properties. Okay, so let's select save and get out of here. Now that I have that, I do want to show you how to put in the authors. Let's put in one more here and let's add a property. And this time for property, we're going to choose object. So when you choose object, I'm going to put author here. You can actually narrow down which objects. Now what it says limit object types and it's got author here. Okay, so let's select save. And then when I select here, it's only going to show me objects that are authors. So this is really nice for when you have a lot of things in your any type and you really want to reduce the amount of objects you're choosing from, you can narrow it down by the object type. Okay, so now we've got J.R. Tolkien as our author and then we didn't fill in our book title, which, okay, so this happens a lot. If you click on it, you'll end up on the page view. If you don't want to end up on that page and you want to stay in this grid view, you need to click on the pencil icon. And so let's start out with The Hobbit. And so that is our first book. And then let's say we want to make another one that's very similar because we have the same author, topic, genre. Let's just select duplicate down here. And so now it automatically opens in a new page. You can, of course, edit the title here, but I prefer doing it in this, this view. So let's switch this one to the Fellowship of the Ring. And so now we have two of those books and they're connected. Let's take a look now at what has happened so far with our graph view. So the graph view is up here and this is a visual representation of all of your objects. So let's take a look. So I have... Our author here is J.R.R. Tolkien, and then we've got two connections here. We've got the two books, and they're pointing towards the author. So this is what the graph view can do for you. It can automatically link and kind of give you a visual connection of how your objects are related to each other within your AnyType space. I find that really cool, and it'll look even better once you start putting a lot of information into any type. So the other thing I want to show you is now that we've created this type, anytime you create a new object from scratch, it's going to have all of these blocks to fill in all the properties. But let's say you want it to edit this on the page instead of in this grid view. So let's click on here and we can see that it has those properties, but I'd really like it to be more of like a form that I can fill out. We're going to go back to our properties panel. We're going to open that up so it's here on the right. We can take any of these properties and drag them onto the page over here. So I'm going to select book topic. I'm going to click on it and hold down my mouse and just drag it over here until you see both that green plus icon and that yellow line. And then I'm going to let go of my mouse. And now we have it here. So you can select here instead of in that grid view that we were on earlier. So let's do the same for genre. Let's click and drag it over, and then author, click and drag it over, okay? And now that we have this set up, 
and you can add whatever you want here. You can also add like summary. So if you click on over to the left, you'll see those three dots. You can change any of the text style. So I'm actually going to change this to a heading. So we have a summary and then you can start typing underneath there. And this is what I want every page to open up. So in order for us to use this as our template for every book object that opens, we need to go up here to the three dots. We're going to click here and then we're going to select use as template. So use as template. Let's click on that. And now we have this saved as a template. You might want to consider putting something in the title. I find for me, it's helpful to put an asterisk and then book. And that kind of just helps me. Let me go back one. Let me go back two. And then, okay, so now we are on the book list. And this is the untitled one that we were working on. If I now go to templates over here, let's click on this. The one that I just made with the asterisk book is a template. And one more thing that I need to do to make sure every time I open up a new book and it has that fillable form, I need to select the three dots right here, or if they'll show up if you hover over here, and set this as the default. So let me set that as the default. And then I'm actually going to delete this one just so we can see what a new one looks like. Okay. I've deleted that one. And so now I click on templates. Your default one will have this yellow box around it, yellow highlight. So you know that that's the one that's always popping up. You can also have more than one template if you want to. So you can create a, another new one here. But for now, I'm just going to have one template for books and then it doesn't really matter where you select to create a new book. You can select it down here, new object. It's always going to have that title that I put in there. So the, you know, obviously the asterisk helps me know that this is a template and let's click on it. And you can see it's got all of those properties here that I can just fill in, in a page view instead of that grid view. So I can do sci-fi and then you can select objects now here because you might not have the author that you want to put in there yet. You can just start typing. And because we limited it to just authors, we can create this object. And now we have Hugh Howie. So this is now an author. And if we look over here, we can see that just populated under the authors. So it's really automated already because we limited this to just authors. So let's highlight this and just call this wool. Um, and let's go back out to our book. So I, you can also click here if you want to return to that book's grid view. And we can see we've got all of these already here. And then if you wanted to create a book from here, let's go here. We can see that under my types, I now have book and author down here. So if I select book here, you can see it's also the default template that I wanted for books. And I can just start filling that out. Let's go back to another way that you can create an object. This plus will always be the default object for your space. So say I always want to make new books. This is like the main thing that I'm keeping track of. I can click here. This will take you to your space settings. And under your space settings, you have options down here. And it says your default object type. So it is usually set to page. So you can definitely change that to book. So now that's book. Let's go back out to our set of books. And so now that we've changed that to the default, right here, whenever you press this plus or the shortcut to create a new object, you will get a book object instead of a page object. And that's how you get started with types.